This time I've got a tiny little radio to look at. This is an all band radio, AM, FM, shortwave, single side band. Variable bandwidth, um, variable step rate, battery powered, has a speaker in it, headphone plugs, and a loop antenna that uh, plugs into the top. This one came from Banggood. Let's uh, check it out and see what it can do. What's in the box? What is this thing? Well, it's, um, it's a radio. It actually looks like it's 3D printed. What the heck? It has a, uh, an antenna. It's 9.9 .9 kilohertz to 181 megahertz. And it's just, it's a, well, it's, it's a coil of wire on a double-sided circuit board. Interesting. And then it just screws onto the top of the radio here. I wonder what this thing will pick up. This is kind of neat looking little toy that I got from Banggood to uh, play around with. It's a, it's a mini receiver and um, I don't think it has a speaker in it, does it? Oh, it does. It has a speaker. How do we turn it up? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's got a little menu, a little screen on here. Let's get a shot of this thing here. Um, mode, volume. Okay. I'm imagining if you put in the headphones, it'll be stereo. It goes from 64 megahertz to 108. Let's just tune into my my test. 87.5 is where I am. Um, okay. Press this down. Volume. Goes up to 63. Battery is full at 3.95 volts. Now, if I switch switch modes here, um, band, VHF, so it's got all the different bands. I'm not going to hear anything with my plasma going, that's for sure. I'll turn the plasma on. There we go. So medium wave one is a regular AM band. Directional antenna, I'm sure. I can't even see if I'm in frame now because I have my monitors off. Between the radio, between the antenna. It's kind of a neat little toy actually. What I should do is I should um, take this outside and see what I can pick up. Maybe some beacons down here along the, on the long wave band. So 
So 150 kilohertz and then back to the top of the AM band. So from one kilohertz to six kilohertz bandwidth, that's obviously going to affect your your sound quality and selectivity. So here's the news channel at, at uh, one kilohertz bandwidth. If we go into the bandwidth here, we can hear. You can hear the difference in the, the sound. Shortwave one. See if I can. I doubt I'm going to get WWV inside here. Oh, it's there. You just barely hear it. Outside should be work a lot better. There it is. You can hear it. I'm going to get the camera and we'll take it outside. Well, it's picking it up, no problem. That's a 15 megahertz. Let's try one of the other bands. Is 10 going to come in? Probably 10's not coming in yet. It's still kind of light out. So I don't think we'll hear anything on 10 just yet. I guess 20's not coming in tonight. Um, 15 coming in. You can also change the mode, right? Single side band. Upper or lower side band. Or AM or FM. So for all the different all the different bands you can change the different modes. Fifteen's coming in no problem. We'll go to the AM band and just see what I can pick up on AM here. We'll drop the bandwidth down a bit. band is pretty quiet. A lot of stations have gone off the air. This is Seattle station here. We'll see how the FM sensitivity is. That's my test. Uh, you saw firsthand what economists will tell you. Oh, 
Also, to space the info, the RDS info. Back in the shop here, here's our, our specifications. It's a mini radio and uh, weight is 57 grams. Long wave, medium wave, short wave, 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz, VHF 64 to 108 megahertz. It'll receive FM, AM, lower sideband, upper sideband, and um, amplifier is maximum 5 watts. Built in speakers, 1 watt. External speaker support through a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I take it you can put uh, speakers on them directly because it says it supports a maximum of five watts out that port. Hmm. Uh, 800, 800 milliamp hour battery. Charging is a type C USB and you can put any type of SMA antenna on it. This is the one that comes with it, but you can obviously put an external antenna on it if you want. It says, please charge the device first. Yeah. Um, it's charged. We should hear it go here right when that flips over. Lots of static in here now, but here we go. Yes, my video clock is synchronized to the uh, atomic clock. This thing has screws on the back. You know what that means? We're going to take it apart and see what's in this, and then I'll finish this off because the video has probably gone on a little longer than I, well, I'll cut it down, but I just wanted to show off this little little receiver. I thought it's kind of neat. It came from Banggood. They sent me this and asked me to take a look at it and show it off, so I'll, I'll put the link in. But it's kind of a, a, neat, little, a neat little gadget. And there it is. It's got two little switches there. I wonder what they're for. There's the speaker on the back. And um, it's in AMN volt. That's the little power switch there. See, I wonder what these buttons here do on the back. What do these buttons do back here? Probably break it if I push them. Oh, uh, I think it just reset it. Yeah, I think that's what those do. Press one and it just reboots. And what's the other one do? It doesn't do anything. But that, re that restarts it. Anyway, um little switch over here it looks to be all based on there's like four ICs in here 
and this module here this is going to be the, re the radio receiver module it looks like it's got a little antenna here it almost looks like it's is that a bluetooth no it's not bluetooth is it well, let's just see let's get a close-up of this chip see that almost looks like a bluetooth antenna is that what that is is that a bluetooth antenna it doesn't say anything about bluetooth on here but um interesting that's probably the the radio receiver module in it I mean that, that, that almost looks like a, a Bluetooth type antenna like a, a 2 gigahertz antenna I don't know what it is but reset and boot so if it fails to boot you can reboot it and you can reset it over here and one will be an EEPROM is that the EEPROM there? it's hard to see on this monitor well this is going to be the radio module here for sure and the other side of the board's probably got the display controller and so forth I'm not going to pull that apart. No, I'm just going to, I got to pull the encoder off to get to that. I just figured I'd show you guys. Here's the battery, 800 milliamp, little lithium battery. One of these is probably the amplifier, and the other one the EEPROM because I see the charge controllers down here. There's the battery management controller right on on the battery itself, and the speaker of course is there. Anyway, I figured I'd just show you guys a look inside it, and we'll try to put this thing back together without breaking anything. And um, I'll say thanks for watching. I'll put a link in the description for this little cool little radio, a little gadget. Uh, I think it goes on like that. And just pop the back on it. There we go. Yeah, and it works. Okay. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.